What is up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. It's been a while since I've been on a mic. I mean, actually showing gameplay and actually talking to you guys. And I, I just checked. It's been about three months. <laughs> I didn't know it's been that long since I actually talked to you guys like this. <laughs> I didn't know it's been that long. But I was gonna use my um sony headsets but nah those are those were not it chief <laughs> those were not it so i was just like okay time to bring a mic out and i'm excited because it's my vacation day one day one and i'll have to go back to the freaking 17th man i'm gonna enjoy the crap out of this tomorrow I will be going to the zoo. I have not went to the zoo in a long time since elementary, dude. I'm 38. <laughs> it's been a long time since I went to the freaking zoo, man. So me, my girl, and um, her brother are going to go to the zoo tomorrow and, and check it out, man. But besides all that, this game right here, you guys know... I usually go to Gamefly to buy my games because I, I like to have that, that physical um, copy. This game right here, I did not expect to be actually good. This game is called Scars Above. I think it's on the PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and um, Xbox One. I'm not quite sure. Let me check for a second, but... I actually do like this game. I did not expect it um, to be really, really good. And the reason why I like it is because the story. I'm like six hours. I think I'm at the final part. I'm like in six, six hours in. And the story has been like intriguing the whole freaking time. And this game was released in February. So it's only a couple months old. And this game has been really, 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 really good. I've been like, wow. I because to be honest, the reason why I'm playing this, I got burnt out. <laughs> I got a little bit little bit burnt out. Not not hardcore burnt out, just a little bit burnt out on um Um Breath of the Wild, I'm about to say Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, the game is on Microsoft Windows. It's probably on Steam, of course. PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Sorry, no, no Switch version. And I sort of got burnt out on Zelda. Not hardcore. After that, I beat this game. I'm going right back into it. But yeah, I, I, I had to take a step back, like a little, little, little break. Um, you know how some people are, like I said before, you, you get burnt out on, on a game and you don't want to play, play it that much. But I'm telling you, this game has a great story. Now, I have to warn you guys. This game, I say it needs to be a little bit um, cooked in the oven because there's some hardcore pop in. There, I haven't had like hardcore frame rate issues. I'm playing on a PS5, of course, and some areas looks like it's unfinished. You you will see uh, at, at the very end, you will see a section the pixel squares in the water because the game this is fully patched. This is like complete patched. Okay, you can play without the patch, but I got stuck a few times just randomly stuck luckily you can actually go to a checkpoint and you know be all right everything you have is fine but it still needs a little little bit of time in the oven that's just me but the, but i actually do like the story the story is very very intriguing because i want to figure out what's happening um at the end and i'm like at the very very end and i think i'm gonna, I'm gonna get the platinum on this one i just have to do like one um certain ability to like kill like five enemies on fire and, and that's about it but everything else has been mostly story and i'm telling you right now this could be the easiest um achievement to get or platinum to get you just to, it, it's mostly story story based stuff you cannot freaking miss it 
Just check your surroundings. And that's about it. But I, I'm telling you, the story on this is actually very intriguing. Basically, you are a member of the SCARS team. And you see this type of um, artifact in the sky. And you go investigate what this artifact is. It brings you into this artifact. And you try to figure out what the heck is going on. That's all, all, all I'm going to say. All right. But... I'm going to let you guys know. It's a Dark Souls light game. Now, before you freak out a little bit, all right, it's toned down. And what I mean by that, you can still play it on quote unquote story mode, which I think a bunch of frauds play that play that thing. Just saying, not, not real gamers and stuff. Just saying, um, you can play it in story mode, but that difficulty is not that hard dude this game is i plan on normal this game's not that hard the only the only hard part are of course the bosses but you you like freaking like a traditional game you die you try again figure out the same thing over and over again figure out that's how real gamers do just saying um but it has that light dark souls to it sort of like um What's that recent game that came out? Jedi Survivor or Jedi Fallen Order? That that type of um, Souls-like game. All right. So what I like about this game is you can use different elements of water, fire, and acid. Give you an example. If you um, have an enemy in the water and you use an electric attack, it will be a two-hit combo, or a character gets on set on fire, and you use another different attack. It'll be another two-hit combo, and stuff like that happens all the time throughout this game. And I'm just like, wow, that's very, very interesting. And I actually did like that. I actually enjoyed that because I always try to think on a fly. I'm like, okay, what, what, what weapon should I use for this enemy? And and so on and so on. So I thought that stuff was actually pretty cool. But this game, um, I say about six to eight hours to beat. And I'm telling you, you can easily max out your level on here. You see those little square things right here? That's how you gain more powers. You collect that around the whole different levels. And I'm telling you right now, there's plenty of you. <laughs> if you if you miss multiple and don't get it maxed out, there is something wrong with you. I still have multiple like um, those cubes left, still collecting, and I'm already maxed out on everything. But yeah, this game is mostly story driven. I like it. The combat is actually pretty de decent. It still needs to be cooked. The game still needs a little bit, a little bit of uh, cooked in the oven. Other than that, it's it's a it's a great game. I got stuck a few times over stupid stuff, just just caught into it like a stupid rock or a plant that I was trying to get some more ammo to, and that crap was annoying. But other than that, dude, this game's pretty good. This game is great. But um, yeah, after this, I'm gonna try to get the platinum and go back to Breath of the Wild. I still got Tears, Tears of the Kingdom. I know everybody's kind of upset about the the um infinite glitch or duplicate glitch which since nintendo actually you know patched it out i know it sucks but you know how nintendo is man but it's just a single player game so i don't understand why they did that but anyways that's that's nintendo but yeah man i i highly recommend you guys play that play this game i say about 10 to 15 dollars if you get it you know physical copy it's it's worth 20 bucks it really is but i'll say it's it's the the game's really intriguing I, re I really do like the abilities i really do like the like the gameplay but like i said it's it's a b-rated movie it's not like a hardcore triple a and it still has a bunch of glitches into the game but that's about it guys i just want to talk about this game um what other game that i purchased i have from gamefly i got Crisis Core Final Fantasy Reunion that was twenty dollars. A, uh, 
a person got mad because I purchased this day quicker than him on Twitter and I got Eluding Chronicles Rising. That game was like, I think like 15 on Gamefly. So I knew I, was, I, I saw the gameplay of this and I was like, yep, I need to pick this up from Gamefly. But um, that's about it, guys. I'm going to be enjoying my vacation to the 17th. Uh, well, I have to go back in the 17th. But yeah, those couple days, those two weeks, I'm going to be enjoying. And um, yeah, guys, I will be still making videos. Also, you have to wait to the 7th or 8th for me to actually get the whole crap ton of movies to give out to you guys. All right. But stay awesome. Stay healthy. And watch out for weirdos. i see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a good one. And play this game, man. <laughs> Do it for once. Play something different. Bye, guys. Have a good one.